I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. My beautiful Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, Libra. And so if you find any cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you, Libra, is through the comments, right? And then as well, if you do find some read cards that resonate, uh, I would really appreciate it, Libra, for you to take the extra step to give this video a like and subscribe, Libra, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot, and I always appreciate it when you guys take the extra stuff to do that for me uh and then finally libra before we get into this tarot reading my usual spiel that i do with any of my weekly readings libra is i like to always remind you that i don't feel like tarot cards tarot readings should be making decisions in your life i feel like tarot cards should be tarot readers should be giving you something to consider something some food for thought right nothing for you to like m you know make the choice for you because it's your life to live right and it's yeah, you get the point, Libra, I feel. So uh, with all that in mind, let's just get into your reading, Libra. So uh, first of all, how, are you, how have you been, Libras? I apologize to you guys. I'm going to be apologizing to the air signs and the water signs because not only have, was I late for y'all's before, but uh, I apologize. Y'all will know. I love you guys, though. But Libra, let's get into this. Let's talk business now. We have for your objective card for this week, Libra, the Three of Swords. So this is, when I say the objective card, this is the card, the, the energy that you want to exude for this week, the, probably the energy that you're going to be in, Libra. And so when you have the Three of Swords, right, anyone that's pretty familiar with tarot, Libra, knows that Three of Swords is involving some type of pain. Uh, it is talking about release. And this deck, this is kind of like a card of just... um letting things go, breaking pattern. I'm actually, Libra pulled this extra card for you from the back of the deck for the Two of Pentacles, which is kind of letting me know, paired with this Three of Swords, of where it's just like uh, releasing things that are causing chaos in your life. We, you know, with the Two of Pentacles, Libra, it's sort of like uh, someone that has their handling too much, juggling too many plates, has too much on their plate. Um, and so there's no real organization. There's no... Um, you kind of just Libra with this type of energy. It probably lets me know of someone that's just uh, trying to do too much, or trying to, or stressing about too much, trying to have too much control um, over certain things in their life. And continuing on with this, we have the Six of Swords as well. So this is definitely a time for you, Libra, this week to start putting some distance um, between. Uh, something that's causing you some pain, something that's bringing some chaos into your life. Obviously, you think about that as just like naturally you wouldn't want to be close to that. But I feel like in this type of message, it's kind of refining more Libra towards a um, Queen of Pentacles. So this is kind of like looking more so, more so Libra towards like yourself. What are you doing? Like, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles, Libra, the Queen of Pentacles is all about the self-care. She is the queen that really tends to herself, that is really extremely self-sufficient, um, likes the finer things, right? Libra, and it's just the card of, um, proper self-care. So Libra, you know, look at your habits. Have you been eating? uh right recently have you been you know putting walking have you been going making it a point to go outside libra right maybe for some of you guys this is definitely highlighting and i'm trying not to like have it be too much of a projection of what's going on for me libra because i am a libra as well but um for some of you guys it does speak about being in a rut um and trying to put some distance in between that releasing things that you know that's probably probably what it is and continuing on king of swords yeah getting back into your element libra it feels like you some of you libras have probably felt like you lost your voice lost your spark in some way king of swords is swords is air energy libra so this is all about you right all these we have a lot of air cards air cards and pentacle cards so this is grounding right um definitely a time to get a good uh mental perspective on everything get a good grasp you know do a little bit of a pep talk with yourself libra um you know just get things back in order and claim your king of swords moment obviously gender doesn't matter libra 
And so very interesting message in this way. So these two extra cards also came out. This is with my new deck. This new deck just really wanted to communicate with y'all in this reading, I guess, Libra. But with these two extra cards that came out is Seven of Cups and then Nine of Swords. So this is anxiety about choices with just these two cards, right? Seven of Pentacles is kind of like an indecision, kind of just like a... It's almost like Libra opportunities are... I don't want to say opportunities are being presented to you, but like potential opportunities, right? Or like, you know, like when I feel like whenever a reader says uh, opportunities, people immediately just think being of it being like offered to you, like on a silver platter. I'm not saying that it's everyone that's receiving this reading, obviously, Libra, but it's like the, you know, you have the potential to go down this one path. You know, it's just like an opening comes up. You see, like, it's just like, oh, job openings for this one restaurant, job openings for this one company or whatever, right? And you know if you actually put in a little bit of work or some effort energy into that Libra, potentially you could actually like get, get that job, you know, go into that opportunity, lean into it, but um, there is some type of resistance, there is some type of anxiety when it comes to it with this Nine of Swords Libra. So let's get a little bit of insight on this. I'm actually gonna use the Necronomicon deck for this Libra because I want to see what's going on with this. Why are you guys feeling anxious? Why are you guys feeling like... Because with that Nine of Swords, Libra, the Nine of Swords is is the anxious card. It's the card that just kind of keeps you up at night being like, you know, is this going to work out? Yeah, that seems to be the theme for you. Here we go, Libra. Buckle up, honey. Buckle up. So um i did not come to play <laughs> coming back with y'all's reading libra so the three cards that i came out to clarify this we have the nine of wands so definitely like some type of um presented with uh are you sure if you're ready libra to take on this new challenge you know it's almost like standing at the doorway and knowing if you walked through um a lot ends up having to change a lot more responsibility comes uh at hand for you, Libra. We have the Justice card, which is your card, Libra. So if you weren't feeling like you were being spoken to directly yet, honey, these cards are really trying to tell you, Libra. And the Knight of Cups. So quite literally, this is talking about Knight of Cups, these opportunities, things. It could even be a person, right? But I'm going to only speak on opportunities just for the simplicity of the message, Libra. Um, Knight of Cups you know, is that blessing, is about having something presented to you, those opportunities I was talking about, Libra, those potential job offerings that you could go to, you know, those potential connections, those potential people that you could connect to, to get you to the place that you need to go for, you know, but, you know, it's being presented to you, opportunities, that horse and carriage is being presented, but, Libra, we have the Nine of Wands, this is where it's like you acknowledge the responsibility that it comes with. And maybe, you know, with that Nine of Swords, you don't know if you're ready for that responsibility yet. Maybe there's just a level of self-doubt, right? Maybe even so, like, there's a level of where it's like you see that job offer and maybe you don't even believe it to be like an actual, like, real thing. Right? Uh, I almost called you Justice because I was looking at the Justice card, Libra. I, I I, don't know. It's almost just like for some, some of you Libras, you think it's like too good to be true, so why even bother? Which is kind of a sad like outlook to have, don't you think, Libra? Because this is such a cynical way of like viewing things because then it's just like, well, if you think it's just, if you have this thought process of just being like, well, why bother? Um, taking chances why bother going after something like i don't know it's just weird it's just like why wouldn't like what do you have to lose libra to just like challenge yourself what is like the worst case scenario of you just falling flat on your face I'm not saying that you will libra but it just is weird that you don't want to like challenge your own um challenge your, i guess yeah just challenging yourself in general libra eight of wands alignment and progress yeah libra you this is just kind of like those your it feels like challenges are just coming in different ways for you libra than what you're used to or maybe for even some of you guys you have just been in this long process and you're just feeling pretty exhausted right that could be the case as well because we do have this knight of swords which i actually want to get into a little bit more libra and this knight of swords is definitely what is like the journey that you're going on this is 
letting me know like the, the current path that's let's see I know I didn't finish my sentence Libra I apologize <laughs> just in the moment man all right so for your knight of swords Libra the clarifiers we have is this two of pentacles following you so definitely you're trying to manage too much you're trying to um it's just like your life is chaotic right now and it's like dare I say Libra just like you need to put yourself on like a routine put more structure in your life is definitely something that i feel like you need because that structure i feel like is going to directly um correlate or impact i don't know the proper word for a libra you know what i mean um help with your ment uh my like your mentality like your mind um because two of pentacles with the three of pentacles and then the king of pentacles so libra it's like even if you feel like you're going forward libra and you probably are you definitely are it's not even like a probably because we did close the that separate message off with the eight of wands right with the eight of wands and talks about that progress you just continuing going forward um it's almost just like libra maybe for some of you guys it's like because how would i put this I like to speak in examples, Libra. So it would be like someone going to work every single day, right? They have like their nine to five and then they're just like, oh, there's this job opening here. I think I could put do part time there. I can do that. I can dabble in there. Oh, my friends, they want to like hang out with me every single weekend. I need to make time for my friends every weekend. I can do that. You know, you start spreading yourself so thin, Libra. And then you're, you can manage it a little bit. You think you can manage it. And it's just from a place of, it's not even probably like you feel obligated to. It's just, it's like you're, it's almost just like you enjoy like things being presented to you at this time. You enjoy seeing the, um, how would I say, like just the excitement of life. Just, you know, it's just, at least it's not stale right and so you're keeping yourself busy but it's when you're keeping yourself busy you end up neglecting like your home life for example you end up neglecting like the root uh working out every single day that you used to or putting in that 30 minutes of stretching every single day those small self-care things perhaps right and so when you start getting fatigued in your physical life where things just start becoming a little bit more unhinged for you libra that's how it starts directly correlating with like your mentality like your mental state because it's like this of swords you start just getting like your environment if your environment isn't conducive and being very um just stable and just um yeah just put more cleanse your space libra cleanse your space and put more effort into um putting crystals or just grounding your area is something i just feel like would be very beneficial for you libra and i feel like that would have a direct impact in a positive way for your mental state and so with that you know with having a positive mental state and a well we don't want to say positive mental state because that gives the implication that it was a negative one with a clearer more grounded mental state libra where it's not as chaotic where you you know clear your plate you know maybe for some of you libras you need to um make the choice on something to like just structure i feel like libra it's just like structure you have all these things on your plate now libra that's wonderful that's beautiful let's add some structure to this now let's you know let's have a game plan rather than just having like the game plan being waking up and just trying to manage everything let's put a little bit more structure to to this libra so we have this page of cups here right so this is why i was still feeling pretty highly about everything here libra because i was just like okay yeah like this is this is what's going on here this is where you're seeing page of cups talks about new beginnings notice this is all talking like cups keeps following you um <laughs> that's like the only cups card well besides this other one which i'll get into in a moment right you have like the eight page of cups you have the knight of cups it's always just like um blessings being presented or just opportunities right you know again i will just mention just for this as a side note for this for those libras that is resonating for a person um the page of cups does talking talk about a deepening of a current uh, situation or a new person coming into your life when you pair it with the knight of cups it could very much easily be signifying as a new person coming into your life so just keep that in mind but i'm going to continue with the messages of, of an opportunity so libra we break this down with this page of cups with the clarifiers of more cups actually 
So we have the Seven of Cups following you. We're talking about decisions. We have the Temperance card, and then we have the King of Cups. So Libra, this is all talking about emotions. This is all talking about, um, you know, dare I say Libra, uh, with this Temperance card, I don't know if you're wanting something and like you feel that it's almost like you feel like you deserve or feel as if like you're just you're tired of waiting for something it feels libra and so with this temperance card when you it feels almost like because you just have progressively gotten tired of waiting and i think i've kind of implied that as well libra for um you know like you've just been going on some type of journey for a while and you just are feeling fatigue um with this temperance card, I feel like that is what's making you a little bit more unhinged, right? With this page of cups coming in, um, it's like you feel something like right at the precipice, Libra. It's like, if that even makes sense. It's like you feel something, Libra. Um, it's like you know something around you is like opening up. Right. It just like, <laughs> it sounds so corny, but it's just like the vibe, like something's just hitting different right now. You know, it's like there's something here that you just need to pay attention to with this seven of cups. And it's so it's like you're trying to just manage everything. You're trying to just figure it out. You're trying to just hurry up and get to that point where it's just like, okay, what is it that I need to do? What is it that you need to, you know, you're just trying to figure out where you need to lean into more to like, have this opportunity open up more and king of cups is letting me know as someone that's a little bit um kind of like a sign of being like oh hey libra let's keep a little bit more of a let's not well let me pull some clear first before i speak too boldly libra i'm gonna pull two more right here let's see so three three of wands the star card and the nine of pentacles yeah libra so three of wands you get you're tasting it you're you, it's something so close and you can taste it and so because it feels like it's something so close like the, you feel like it's you're the closest that you've ever been towards the thing that you've just wanted so badly it's like because you want it so badly libra that's when you get a little bit more um i don't want to say unhinged right i just want you i just Libra, let's just, you know, listen to your guides, I guess, right? You know, with the Nine of Pentacles and all the decks in tarot, you'll always see an individual by themselves with an animal. And I like to see that as your spirit guide, Libra. And so your spirit guide is, in other decks, usually will, sh like a spirit guide will be like leading this individual towards a specific pentacle to pick at. The other pentacles, I'll even show it to you in this other deck because it's in this deck that I'm speaking of in specific. So give me a moment, Libra. I'm sorry I won't be able to like look at you for a moment. But um, with the Nine of Pentacles, it's usually about listening to your guides and being like, yeah, you see all these things. Here it is. You see all these pentacles, Libra, of all different sizes. You know, some, this one looks bigger. This one looks more ripe, right, Libra? But your spirit guide, your owl is trying to lead you to this one in specific. Listen to your guide more, uh, Libra, and just pay attention to the signs. Don't, just don't, just go, you know, don't feel like you need to pick up, pick at all the fruits, all those pentacles, just because they're presented to you. Just continue, stay the course. Don't, don't freak out, I guess, Libra. Don't freak out. Don't, you know, don't make rash decisions. You know, just stay the course. You're so close, Libra. I promise you, you're so close. You just got to remain calm at this time and be logical still, right? Listen to your guides, connect to your guides more, right? Don't feel like, you know, have more of a sense of release. You know, take a breath, Libra, take a breath, right? So let's close off for um, these two rows here, and then we'll get into the, your final row. We'll get into the blessing coming to you, the blessings coming, get a little bit more detail on that. So we have the Ten of Swords, and then we have the Two of Cups, honey. So this is definitely talking about um, completing some karmic lessons. This is probably why things have felt different for you, Libra, because it's like you're like almost like breaking like a loop or it's just like you're almost breaking free of like a long 
karmic. And I'm usually not the kind of person, Libra, to like speak about like karmic cycles and stuff just because I feel like it's not my place to say what's karmic and what's not. But in this deck in specific as well, which I is a newer deck for me, only upward if you look at it, it says only upwards and then it says karmic lessons. And then two of cups talks about bringing things back into the balance. Um, things it's almost as if and you'll get this message even more Libra it's making me happy but um it's almost like the things that have been such a sh an extremely long struggle for you something that's seemingly always been so impossible for you to get and like reach at for so long so this is i feel like like a long term when you talk about karmic things i feel like karmic things is not like a couple months thing or a couple years this is something that you've wanted for a really really long time libra things that like have always just felt so out of reach and so unobtainable to you maybe some of you guys have even felt like you're just cursed and it's just never going to happen just because it's just maybe it came so easy for other people you know so on and so forth i feel like you're finally coming into the completion of that I feel like you sense it too, Libra. And so it's because of that, you're just kind of like becoming, you know, a little bit more frantic and trying to just complete it. But just stay the course, right? You're so close to ending this book. There's no reason to rush the chapters now. Okay. So let's get into your blessings. Two of Cups, honey. This is where I was like smiling because this is where it's like something coming to you is like you're what it is that you've been working so hard on. So the magician, wow. Libra, the Magician card, the Strength card, and then the Lovers card. So again, side note for those Libras that are resonating with this as a person or relationship or connection, you know, I feel like this is self-explanatory. The Lovers card, um, something they've worked so hard on, the Strength card, and the Magician card, you manifested this. You created this, Libra. All Major Arcana paired with this Two of Cups, Libra. So truly, Libra... Whatever it is that you've been working so hard on, whatever it is that you've been trying to reach out for a very long time in your life, something that you've desired for a long time in your life, I know this sounds dramatic, but it is dramatic when you have all these major arcanas, Libra. Libra. Um, it's coming. It's coming very soon. You just need to stay the course, finish, finish this last lesson, finish this final test, Libra, finish this cycle, and I promise you things are going to come. You just need to stay the course. Don't, you know, stay balanced, my beautiful Libra, stay balanced. And then four of wands. You just need to walk through that portal. What is this other card that I tried to come through? Four of wands and queen of rings. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Libra. I'm not even going to touch into this more. Look at these two cards and you'll understand why this is such a beautiful way of wrapping up this reading. Especially since we started with the Queen of uh, Rings or the Queen of Pentacles. Um, Four of Wands is just walking into that portal, right? You just have to, like, it's there. Prosperity, harmony, you know, that's what the Queen of Pentacles represents as well. Libra, you got this. So those are the cards that I have for you, Libra. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this tarot reading for you. Uh, if you resonated with this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards did. Be sure to give this weekly general tarot reading for you, Libra, a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my weekly tarot messages. But until next time, Libra, I love you so much.